Hey Yang, so today I'm gonna show you how to get some better text with Flux. This is a Comfy workflow. I'm gonna show you it in Comfy. I'm gonna show you it in Forge as well. We're just gonna be replacing one file, so it's gonna be super simple. Here we have an example. So the red one is the old Clip L text encoder. Here we have the new one. This one says, I find you very appealing. This one says, I find you very appealing. And the prompt says appealing. So that's what we want. We're using this, the VitL14 text detail improved, yada, yada, yada. I'll give it you the link. It's going to be in the description. If you're a paid Patreon subscriber, you might have already seen this because uh, this is a guide that I dropped on Patreon. I'm also going to show you how to do it right now. So what we're going to do is we are going to find, well, actually this link, but here's a short comparison that obviously is chair picked as was this example that I prepared for you. But Zero Int has released this on Hugging Face and there's a comparison between the OpenAI Clip L, which is what we used previously, then his previous model and the new text one. This says here, I have been, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Whoops, there we go. I've been a good AI. I, it, it have been a good AI. And then we have, oh my God, this is such a long sentence. A little emoji there. Oh my God, this is such a lonely sentence. I mean, obviously, Clip L usually isn't this bad, but I've seen some improvements with the new one. So what we're going to do is get to this link, and then you're going to find this one, actually. So let me show you how to get the safe tensors, and it's as TE only. That means it's text encoder only. And this is that you see here, it says text, right? So download that. If you are using Comfy, you're going to go into your models folder, and then you're going to drop it into the clip folder. If you are using Forge or a similar UI, you can go into your web UI folder, models, and then you're gonna drop it into the text encoders. So that's a little different, right? Now, if you are using Comfy, you will be able to load it in the dual clip loader. So instead of using it like this, that's most common, you will replace the clip L and just select the new VitL14 text here. Super easy, that's about it. Now, if you don't have this, can just load dual clip loader and that goes into your clip so your text prompt right so that's going to be dragged into there make sure that the first one is one of these or if you have one of the others uh, i'm using these and i'm currently using the flux and a four model you can use it with the dev that's fine too you can even use it with uh, the quants and the ggf models if you are using it with Forge, you will probably have something like this up here. When you've selected Flux, you can load your checkpoint, whatever one you want. And here you can select the text encoders, bam, right there. Now, NF4 does have some of these, this stuff baked, but you can load it individually. Now, if you, if you take uh, another example here, let's take, for example, um, let's see where we put this prompt. Here we go. Uh, so we have a cute cartoon pineapple with eyes. A chat bubble has the text, if you were a fruit, you would be a fine apple. Uh, and I queued that up by pressing control enter, control the big enter there. And we are generating this live. Now we're actually going to generate two images. I just split this up. So we're getting uh, a comparison with the old and the new one here, right? So the bottom is going to be the new and the top one is going to be the old. So we didn't get the full prompt. So we said we wanted, if you were a fruit, you would be a pineapple. So we lost the A, the dots, the punctuation here is correct, but we lost the A. In the old, we got the same. If you were a fruit, you would be pineapple. We lost the A uh here too. We didn't get the punctuation here. So two errors, one error. So here we have an improvement in this one. Let's try a different one. Let's just run here. Let's see something like, a well-drawn kangaroo illustration with the text top, what do you call a lazy kangaroo? Text bottom, a pouch, potato. So let's see this here is coming in live. I'm rendering this on an RTX 4090 and it's, it's fairly quick. What do you call a lazy kangaroo? A pouch, potato. Looks about right. I can't find anything. Well, we said a well-drawn kangaroo. I can't really say that it's well-drawn, but um, I think really that much of an issue here because we're comparing the text. And with the other one, we got, what do you call a lazy kangaroo? Looks about right. A pouch potato. 
So the letters are right, but we got two, two little dots, two little punctuations there. So that is, is actually an error, and this one worked out well. So it's not a huge deal, right? But I mean, might as well. If you're doing a lot of text or, or whatever, it's uh, kind of convenient. And I just did a random generation here, which is the, the same acute cartoon half peeled banana with text. I find you very appealing just to show you that it works well and forge as well. So there you have it. Quick one today. As always, thanks for watching. See ya.